welcome back. It's uh, 19 minutes to 8. Imagine being so concerned about the care that your loved one was receiving in hospital that you decided to hide inside a toilet so you could spy on the staff. It's incredible because mm. that is exactly the extreme measure that MP Dawn Butler took when uh, her father, Milo, was being treated for a suspected stroke in Queen's Hospital in Romford in 2010. Yeah, she was worried about unclean conditions, missed medication, so Dawn took matters into her own hands to see what went on when she wasn't there and she joins us now. I guess that is the thing, isn't it, that you always worry about with any friends or family in the hospital, that you can put pressure on, you can go out and do what you did to try and make things better, but when you're not there, you don't know what's happening and that's why you went to hide in the toilet. Tell us what, what you saw and what you uncovered. Absolutely. Good morning. Um, Good morning. It was, um, it was crazy, really. I was so concerned, and I didn't understand what was going on or why it was going on. So I'd witnessed certain things on that particular ward which concerned me, and that was people being given wrong meals because they mm. couldn't identify which beds uh, were which, people given wrong medication because they were trying to put some cream on somebody and it, wasn't, it was the wrong person. And so I thought, what goes on when we're not there? I mean, mm. there was four um, patients on the ward at the time and three of us, three of the families complained and one didn't but that's because they didn't have very many visitors so they didn't mm. get to see oh. what was going on so on that particular day when they told me to leave at lunchtime I decided to hide in the toilets because I just didn't want to leave um, my dad and so um, I hid in the toilet. I saw something quite incredible actually I saw a cleaner finish her rounds and then come back to, to feed some of the patients because the food was left at the end of the bed so and she so, saw a problem mm, and she's she very sweetly doing something about really, it. Really, really sweet. And I was a little bit, con I mean, I wrote to the hospital and I said to them, these are the things that I saw. These are some of my suggestions. Um, and I think that there has to be a couple of things. I think that there has to be uh, more protection for people who whistle blow. Um, I think that there needs to, when you complain, the shutters came down. So instead of them embracing the complaint and saying, right, OK, mm. what can we do to improve the situation? Obviously, we have a problem. They just put the shutters down. We got given the run around. We had to pay £50 to get my dad's records, you know, all this kind of stuff, which is just a deterrent to stop people from complaining. Mm. It shouldn't be that way because, mm. you know, you're complaining for a reason, not for the sake of it, because you've got a loved one in hospital. And I suppose that's partly why I'm back as, a, as an MP, because I feel that I have to do something about this. I've got a voice. I should use that voice to make sure that no other family has to go through what my family went through. Well, let's just get um, a brief word from our correspondent, Helen Pearson, who is at um, the Queen's Hospital in Romford, uh, where, they've, um, where they've got a statement, haven't they, particularly about Milo's case. Yes, that's right. I mean, we should remember that this happened back in 2010, and since then, uh, 16 other claims um, of alleged inadequate care have been made between 2007 and 2013. All but one have been settled. But the Trust says that it's absolutely unacceptable that Mr Butler or any other patient suffered um, poor treatment or harm whilst in their care. They say that there's several new ways of working have been introduced. Uh, uh, better investment in nursing and better monitoring of patients. They say they've made huge strides in the past 18 months, which have been recognised by the Care Quality Commission. But they do, above all, admit uh, that there's still a long way to go. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much, Helen. And, I mean, do you feel that the experience that you had is now something that is getting rarer? Mm. I hope so. Um, I hope that's the case. Um, it worries me that so many hospitals are closing. So around northwest London, so many hospitals are closing. My local one, Central Middlesex Hospital, closed. And that was a good hospital. It was mm. rated good by CQC. And now, you know, Northwick Pass Hospital, which was rated inadequate, people have to travel an hour and a half to get there. So... But I think, I mean, I know that complaints have gone up 80% since 2010, so I don't want it to be the case because I love the NHS, but I think we need more investment in nurses. We need more nurses, that's key. We need matrons on the wards. I think that's key because one of the wards in Queen's that had a matron, a very, very good matron, that was a well-run mm. ward, and you could see the difference in care and quality. Mm. And I just, you know, the voice of the patient and the voice of yeah, the families, families if you needs to be heard. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, is that, that, that we can see how emotional you are. You're emotional. We spoke about it before. I know mm. you're clutching your tissue. Hello. I know, I know. <laughs> and it's very hard. And obviously, it's your lovely dad that, mm. that you're talking about. But so many 
people would say, we've been saying this to politicians for years and mm. nothing's been done. Does it frustrate you that you are a politician and you can't see the changes you want to happen? It is very, very frustrating because you know, you know, you want the investment in the NHS mm. and you have to find the money. The money has to be found to put it, but in the right way. So, and I mm. don't want to politicise it because, you know, the mm. NHS is, you know, it's been around since 1948. It's been used more and more. Yeah. And you were complaining as a daughter, and as you said, complaining as, as a MP, daughter, you know, not just you were as there an MP. As a... Yeah. And I want the money, instead of going into reorganisation and more managers, I want it to go into nurses, first of all, because I mm. think that's key to a well-run hospital okay. and doctors. And I want the hospitals to stop, you know, I want us to stop closing hospitals that are needed. You know, mm. if the growth, if it's growing, if we, if the demand is growing, then surely why are we, why are we limiting the resource for people mm. that need to use the, the NHS? Well, thanks, Dawn. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you for talking Thank to you. us this morning. I know it's been difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Just gone a quarter to eight, competition time. Here's Margarita Taylor. Now, do you ever wish there was more money in your bank account so you could go spend, spend, spend? Well, enter our £62,000 competition and that's exactly...